and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is pair with given sum in a sorted array which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type which is a sorted array and another target of integer type and what we have to do we have to basically return Uh, the total number of pairs with given sum okay a uh, pretty simple problem statement is this so let's see this with a test case so here our target is equal to 6 we have to return those elements whose sum is equal to target okay all right so first one is this pair 1,5 isn't this and then the second one is this 1,5 this 5 okay so like 1 5 are there but we can make two pairs with it because 5 is present two times okay 5 is present two times so one pair with this and one pair with this okay all right and then there is another pair which is minus 1 and 7 okay all right so three pairs i can have whose uh, sum is equal to target so i will simply return 3 here one thing which you should notice is if i am including minus 1 and 7 i will not include 7 minus 1 7 minus 1 i will not include okay so this is the one thing and uh, i think problem statement is pretty clear to you so now let's think of the approach which we can take okay all right so the first approach which is coming in my mind is brute force approach and uh, what i will do is uh, pretty simple uh, i will be simply using a two nested loops two nested for loops first one first i will be my i will be pointing to zero and j will start from i plus 1 and it will keep on going till the last i will take each pairs and check if the sum of that pair is equal to target basically arr i plus arr j is equal to target increase the count so increment the count and then uh, i will again move to this one index and j will start from i plus 1 so basically from there in this way we will take the count of each pair we will take the count of each pair and uh, Uh, if that pair sum is equal to target, increment the count. Okay, all right. This is the brute force approach, which will result in the time complexity of n square. And uh, let's see if we are allowed to have n square time complexity. Here we can see array dot size can be as greater as 10 to the power 5, and uh, 10 to the power 5 n square will give us 10 to the power 10, and it will give me time limit x c. Okay, all right. So we have to think of any different approach. Any different approach we have to think of, which we can take. so uh, let's see uh, look we are given a sorted array we are given a sorted array and we have to take advantage of that so one thing which is coming in my mind is pretty simple suppose look if i am starting if uh, there are two pointers one pointer is in the very starting one pointer is in the very end and i have got a target okay all right so it's like uh, i uh, i will first of all take the sum minus 1 and 7 and what's the sum of this it is equal to 6 it is directly equal to 6 so i will increment the count by 1 okay all right otherwise otherwise let's say there is an array which has elements 2 4 6 uh, and 9 2 4 6 9 okay and our let's say target is 6 target is equal to 6 okay all right so array is sorted what i will do i will simply have two pointers first one will be at the starting and another one will be at the end okay all right my target is 6 so first of all i will take the sum of my starting and end which is equal to 2 plus 9 and 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 and which is greater than the target my current sum is greater than the target so what i will do i have to decrease my current sum i have to decrease my current sum since the array is sorted if i will increase my i my sum will become more greater and we have to decrease it so we have to decrease my end we have to decrease my end okay so now end is pointing to this okay so again what i will do again i will check let's suppose my target is 10 let's suppose my target is 10 okay all right so what i will do now uh, this is 2 this is 6 so again i will do the sum and now currently my sum is equal to 8 okay my sum is equal to 8 and uh, i my target is 10 so now i have to increase my current sum i have to increase my current sum okay to increase the current sum what i will do i have to increase my i i have to increase my i okay so now i will be pointing to this 4 6 yes one of this is target and when my sum will be equal to target then what we have to do we will check that okay all right so like basically if my current sum is greater than target current sum is greater than target end minus minus decrease from the last and if my current sum is less than target i have to increase my starting to increase the current sum okay 
but if my current sum is equal to the target current sum is basically sum of a starting plus end at any point it is equal to target then what we have to do so i will see show you that okay whether to increase uh, uh, let's say whether to increment or whether to decrement okay so this is the point which so look there can be three cases there can be three cases when my sum is equal to target first one is this only ki minus 1 and 7 i am currently at this my current sum is equal to 6 and target is also equal to 6 so what i will do i will increase my i and j i will increase my i and decrease my j okay this is the first case but 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 let's suppose uh, my current array is minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 4 and comma uh, let's say 7 only okay target is equal to 6 okay guys i want your full attention here because it's very very important i j okay the starting and end so what i will do i will increase my starting uh, my total sum is equal to target increase the count by one and now what i have to do either i have to increase my starting or i have to decrease my end but what should i do how can i decide so look first of all what i will do i at the last i have to only uh, let's say increase starting and in decrease in both okay but how can i count the number of pairs okay so this is very important look if minus one so i will check key how many pairs how many elements are equal to my current starting how many elements are equal to my current starting minus one there is one more okay so there are two two elements with minus one okay and there is only one element with seven so one so count of starting element into count of end element which is one so it's equal to two so i will increase the count by two and now uh, my increment my this starting pointer will be at four because i will um, skip all those occurrences all those same occurrences okay uh, let me tell you once again it will be more clear to you let's suppose my array is this okay so this pointer will be at the end very start end i am just giving you example so that it becomes more and more clear to you so target is equal to six okay and this is uh, starting and this is at end current sum is equal to what current sum is equal to six which is equal to target now what i have to do as i told count the number of current starting current starting is what minus one count the number of minus one two count the number of current end three like seven is present three times so three and i will simply multiply it i will simply multiply it six it means six pairs i will have six pairs i will have and now my starting will be pointing to that element which is not equal to minus one which is not equal to minus one which is four similarly my end will be pointing to that which is not equal to current end which is not equal to seven at this point and it will also be pointing to four so uh, i have got three pair, six pairs so now you will be thinking how i am getting six pairs so look with this minus one i can have three pairs minus one seven minus one seven minus one seven and with this minus one also i have three pairs minus one seven minus one seven minus one seven okay all right uh, i think this will be pretty clear to you so there is one approach which is ki if uh, minus one uh, count the number of starting occurrence count the number of ending occurrence and multiply them both okay all right but there is one more edge case let's see that so let's suppose my array is one two three 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 and eight okay all right this is my array all right and now starting will be at this end will be at this okay target is let's suppose six again target is let's suppose six again so guys i am taking a lot of time to make it crystal clear to you okay so uh, current sum is nine current sum is nine which is what which is greater than target i have to decrease my end i have to decrease my end okay so end will be this now okay now again what is the current sum current sum is three one four four which is less than target when less than target i have to increment my starting okay increase starting will be this again current sum is what five which is less than target so again i have to increment my starting now increment start here okay all right so now again what i got i got my task current sum is what now current sum is six which is equal to target okay i will increment the count but now what's the issue the issue is i don't know whether to increase my starting or decrement my end okay all right but i have told you a case earlier ki count the number of three count the number of starting point and count the number of end point okay all right but here the thing is ki look look uh, and what i told ki count the number of starting which is equal to three here okay count the number of end which is equal to again three here so i will do something like three into three which is equal to nine which is wrong here which is wrong here why because here starting and end both are same starting and end both are same and if i will try to make the pairs it will be something equal to uh two and three 
only three pairs I can make. Only three pairs I can make because elements are common. So how can I come to know what uh, formula I can take if my starting is equal to end, uh, starting element is equal to end element. So how many uh, elements I can take with the formula is basically n into n minus one by two. n into n minus one by two. Okay. So here n is equal to what six. So oh, n is equal to what three. So three into two. Uh, divide by 2 which is equal to 3 so 3 pairs i can make so i will increment the count by 3 okay similarly let's suppose uh, if you are still having doubt so let's take this 4 something like this okay and current sum is a target is 8 starting is this ending is this so now how many pairs i can make which is equal to count of a starting Malab count of 4 is equal to 4 so i will something do 4 into n into n minus 1 which is 3 and divide by 2 okay so it means two this two six it means six pairs i can make let's see how this four with this one with this one with this one okay this four with this one and this one and then this pair so total number of pairs is equal to what six so i've got the six in this way i can code it i think it will be pretty pretty uh, crystal clear to you now and uh, please subscribe the channel and like the video if you have loved this thorough explanation and let's move on to the code section then okay all right so please subscribe the channel and uh, i have made a one linkedin post as well so the link will be in the pinned comment make sure to show some love on that linkedin post as well it will mean a lot to me okay so in the answer is equal to zero starting is equal to zero end is equal to arr dot length minus one okay now how long i will run this loop while starting is less than end okay and uh, first of all look if you remember i told you three cases ki if my current sum can be equal to target greater than target or less than target okay so let's first of all take the easy ones so int current sum is equal to arr of starting plus arr of end okay if current sum is greater than target so it means i have to decrease my current sum to decrease my current sum i have to decrement my int okay i think this will be clear otherwise if current sum is less than target i have to what do what i have to increment my starting okay otherwise current sum is equal to target current sum is equal to target now i will take the first of all count of what count of starting element and count of ending element so let's see how i'm going to do that int let's say e1 is equal to arr of i uh, arr of starting element 2 is equal to arr of int and uh, let's take the count count what is count c1 is equal to 0 which will be the count of element 1 and c2 will be the count of element 2 okay all right now how we will take the count let's see very very easy it is while starting is less than equal to end and then arr of starting is equal to element one what i will do i will simply increment my starting and i will increment my c1 c1 is basically the count of those elements who's equal to the starting here you can see i fixed this e1 to the starting element and then i am comparing okay all right similarly similarly what i will do i will have to take the count of element 2 as well so let's write for that while starting is less than equal to end and and arr of end is equal to element 2 and similarly now uh, i have to decrement my end so i will do something like end minus minus and increment the count to c2 okay all right so now i have told you two conditions first condition is basically if if what if e1 is equal to e2 it means let's suppose four i was i told i showed you okay there were four four so how many pairs it will be number of pairs will be answer plus equal to count of c1 into count of c1 minus one and after that it will be divided by two okay something like this n into n minus one divided by two otherwise otherwise it's very very simple count of c1 into count of c2 so answer plus is equal to e1 into e2 okay i th uh, no 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 not e1 into e2 it will be c1 into c2 count count okay all right and when i will come here i will simply return the answer i think it will be pretty pretty clear to you now and uh, surely it will be clear so please subscribe the channel and like the video and there is okay
<laughs> what I'm doing here C1 plus plus okay all right so there is also one similar question which I have already explained I will attach that link as well in the description make sure to check it out make sure to check my LinkedIn post there I have uh, I make a link uh, extension which you should surely check it out and uh, yeah that was it for today like the video comment down and I'm going to see you again tomorrow